four games, two splits, uh, 24 runs scored in the eighth inning or later, are playing the Reds, is that exhilarating or uh, debilitating? Well, I'll tell you this. The games that we've played against them have been very hard fought. I don't think things, things went easily for either team, but that's okay. They were, I think they were, they were good baseball games, and our guys showed some resiliency out there and have continued to just go um, make things happen. Uh, you know, we, we had a chance to get our, we got ourselves back in the game. We had a chance to win the game. Um, and, you know, we can look to a lot of different guys today who played, uh, well, made some plays, got some big hits. Uh, it was not enough to, to get it done, but I'll, I'll tell you this, the resiliency and the, the, the toughness, um, from our guys is, is, is showing up. How did Josh take, how did the dugout take? the uh, the third strike call uh, during the rally in the eighth? Um, I mean, Josh is competitive, so, I mean, he's not happy with it. And, I, you know, we all understand that. Um, it's tough to tell from the dugout exactly which pitches are where, so it's difficult for us to have a, a strong opinion unless something is way up or way down. Um, and so we have to just trust our players who are out on the field uh, to, to tell us what is what. But... Um, no, I mean, we're going to take that shot with JD every time and, uh, uh, take a chance to, uh, make something happen. And he's, he's done, he's been a really good pinch hitter for us on the days he hasn't started, uh, and has put together a, you know, a bunch of good at bats. So we're going to take that chance every time. Charlie seemed to get in the most trouble, um, with two outs. What did you see from him, you know, in some of those situations and what did you think of his start, you know, as a whole? Yeah. Um, you know, I think he went out there and, uh, and, and battled and, and kept pitching. And he, uh, it, it sort of looked like some of the right-handed hitters that he was facing, maybe even some of the lefties too, might have been sitting soft at times. Um, and they looked more comfortable uh, against like the changeup and, and the breaking ball, which are normally Charlie's, you know, strengths. Those are the pitches that normally he's going to get guys out in front on and keep them off balance with. But it looked like some of these, these hitters actually um, – you know, probably took the reverse course and, and maybe looked uh, a little bit off speed at times. And that um, obviously kind of forced us and forced Charlie to make some adjustments um, and acknowledge that to some of these guys. And, and he kept pitching. I mean, he uh, you know, we probably could have kept him uh, kept him going out there, but we're going to we're going to pinch it and, and uh, take an opportunity to try to score some runs in the fifth. Um, but uh, he, he battled. It, it didn't again. You know, that was probably part of the equation that um, didn't come easily, you know, they, they, they made it tough on us and, and had some good at bats. Um, but he, he worked hard out there for us and, uh, you know, we were, we were able to get back into it. Rocco, how important is a lesson like that for a guy making his second big league start that, you know, you get two outs, but the third out, uh, especially with runners on base can be sometimes the toughest one to get. Yeah, I think their hitters did uh, kind of bear down a little bit um, in some of these at bats. Um, battled a little bit once they, you know, saw them. Uh, you know, they they kind of, uh, you know, like I said, they they might have sat a little soft, but the the two out kind of part of the deal. I mean, we gotta we gotta find a way to finish innings. I mean, that that's just a fact. And um, I didn't notice anything different with two outs. It's not like I can point to anything for him. Uh, that he was doing any differently. I mean, we just have to go out there and, and execute. Once we have a little success in an inning, we have to we have to close it out. 